Alright guys, this is a review of the Westinghouse 7000 watt, 8500 starting watt uh, electric generator. This generator, uh, as you can tell, comes equipped with an electric start right there, as well as the standard recoil start on the side of the engine. Now I've had this for about six months. I've never really had to use it, um, but I have had many other generators before. Um, and I have to say, overall, I'm extremely happy with this Westinghouse generator. Uh, we're going to take a look at the front here just so you can see some of the outlets. That's the main circuit breaker right there. Um, next to that is the 120 volt, 240 volt outlet. And then it's got four standard uh, duplex outlets, or two duplex, so four outlets total. Uh, as you can tell below here is the battery, which does come with the unit. Uh, all you really need to do is hook up the positive cable and fill it with oil. It comes with the oil included and it also comes with a uh, large cable uh, with four outlets at the end of it. I'm just going to walk around the unit here. It's got a pretty large muffler, uh, spark arrestor on it. I have had issues with other generators in the past where that spark arrestor gets dirty um, and causes the engine to stall so sometimes I do remove that um, although right now it's still clean so I'm going to leave it on there. If you look here at the top it's also got a fuel gauge. Uh, it's empty right now because I never leave this with fuel in it. Hanner on the other side. Pretty large uh, muffler, a heat shield on it. And if we pan around to the other side, you can see the, uh, the fuel valve shut off. I always leave that on. I let the fuel drain out uh, completely. And then you've got the uh, yellow pull to start cord. Also, it's a little hard to see the choke handle is in yellow. Anything that you need to start the, uh, the generator is labeled for you in yellow. Uh, and the start switch is surrounded in yellow. Now Westinghouse, like I said, is a very old brand. It's been known for a long time. Well, the generator line is relatively unknown and relatively new. And I have to say I'm extremely happy with the quality of this. Uh, it's a little loud, although it's not really louder than anything uh, comparable. Um, but I'm very happy. It seems to be well made. Uh, it seems to be well thought out. And I really do not anticipate having any issues with it. I'm going to go ahead and add some gasoline and start it up so you guys can uh, hear it. Okay, I'm back here. Um, I'm just going to talk real quick about the generator a little bit more before I start it. Because once I start it, it's going to be a little difficult to hear me. Um, this does have about a 5.5 gallon tank. And according to the manual, it's rated to run for about 11 hours at a 50% load, which I think is pretty good. Um, and the tank size is large, but not overly large. You could pretty much get away with a 5 gallon jerry can, uh, plus a little bit more. Um, I tend to put fuel stabilizer in here, and uh, you know I just leave it sitting in there, and that keeps the fuel okay. Uh, if, if for some reason I don't burn out all the fuel. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start it. We are in July right now, and, and the last time I started this was probably in January or February. Uh, so it's been quite a while. There was no fuel in it, though. I had let it all burn out. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. I'm going to use the electric start. I'm going to let it run for a minute so you can hear it, and then that's going to conclude the video. Now, if you do have any questions, you know, please reach out and ask. Like I said, I am very happy with this generator. I highly recommend it over Generac um, or any of the other brands out there. It seems to be a little bit more reliable, uh, a little less problematic, um, a little better quality control. Uh, like I said, I've never used it though in an extended power outage, so unfortunately I cannot review that. Uh, but my general impressions so far are very, very positive. I'm going to go ahead and uh, come around the side here. Uh, the choke, as you can tell, is off. I'm just going to push the choke to on. Once the unit starts, I'll uh, slowly move the choke to off. Come around the front. Main breaker, I'm going to leave that off. One click is in the middle for run. I'm now going to push it to start. I didn't put very much fuel, so hopefully it'll start. Because uh, I don't want to let it run forever. So if you can still hear my voice, it actually started immediately on the first try. Um, it's, I'm standing about five feet from the unit. It is a little noisy, but not overly noisy. Um, I am very happy with it though. Stand back a little bit. I'm now about 10 feet or so from the generator. Uh, it's idled out, or smoothed out the idle pretty well. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and let this run now, basically until it runs out of gas, because I don't like to store any in it. Yeah, but overall, like I said, this is a 7,000 running watt, 8,500 starting watts. Um, I bought this unit, let me back up a little bit more so it's easier to hear me. Uh, I bought this unit at Costco, I paid $499. Uh, if you were to go online, uh, it's similarly priced, a little bit more on Amazon actually. Or if you buy from Costco online, it's actually a little bit more money. So once again, this is the Westinghouse Generator. Thank you.